What's up guys, welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to be talking about Flutter, okay. Uh, if you had seen, Google's I.O. conference was yesterday and they announced the launch of Flutter Beta 3, I think. Uh, it's been just like 10 weeks, 10 to 12 weeks, around 10 weeks uh, since the launch of Flutter Beta 1 and uh, there has been another launch of uh, Flutter Beta 2 in March, I think, and now it's Flutter Beta 3. Uh, so what's this Flutter framework? Flutter framework is nothing but Google's new uh, cross-platform framework which enables you to develop native applications using uh, Dart.js. Okay. For those of you who don't know Dart.js, don't worry about it. Uh, if you know object-oriented programming, it's pretty much the same. It's, it's quite easy, guys. You'll get it as and when you write, start to write uh, applications. Uh, ever since I started this channel, uh, most of the stuff I have done on this channel would be around uh, Ionic and Angular, right? Ionic and Angular both are the same. Ionic, we are just bundling the Angular code to run inside a uh, mobile device using Cordova platform, which means that it's a hybrid application. So uh, for a long time, ever since I started this channel, a lot of people were asking me to do native application development as well. And I was, uh, you know, uh, I didn't find time actually to do that uh, since I was busy with making videos every week uh, with Ionic and then uh, with Angular, making apps using uh, Angular and all that. But now that the Flutter framework has come out, I decided to give it a go and I found that it was really easy and simple. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's get started with Flutter in this video guys. If you like this video, kindly let me know uh, and I'll continue to make more videos on this native application development using uh, this framework obviously. This is from Google guys. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, for those of you who are starting right now, uh, get into this site flutter.io and then uh, get into get started. They'll provide you with an SDK. Okay. And then uh, you click on uh, whatever operating system you want, download the SDK, install it. All instructions are given here. You just follow these instructions and then install it. Once you have successfully installed, you need to run this Flutter Doctor to see if uh, your installation is successful. So simply run Flutter Doctor. It'll uh, do some basic uh, diagnostics and then give you some messages like this. Okay, connected devices, one available. That's because I'm running an emulator here. This is some Nexus 5X or something like that. Uh, yeah. The next thing you need to do is get into your code editor. I'm using VS Code. Probably the viewers of this channel are using VS Code as well. Okay. Uh, in VS Code, in your favorite code editor, I use VS Code guys. Uh, if you use VS Code guys, uh, get into extensions and then there will be an extension called Dart. Okay. Uh, Dart and Flutter support for Visual Studio. You can see here, right? Dart code, sorry, Dart code. Uh, get this from the marketplace. Flutter Visual Studio marketplace. I'll even give this link in the description below in the video. Just get it from here. Once you get it from here, it becomes really easy uh, from there on. Just give Control Shift P if you are using a Linux or Windows machine. Uh, and here, uh, there is a small option called Flutter New Project, right? Click on it. And then simply uh, type the name of your first project. Maybe we'll just do hello world. Okay, our app has been created. Uh, it'll run some basic stuff for you guys uh, and uh, scaffold it out so that it looks pretty much cool. It created all this stuff, right? Uh, it'll also create a main dot dart file. Uh, you can see this here. Okay, now it has uh, given us a demo application, right? Let's try running this and see how it looks on the emulator. So just uh, go down here and see that uh, if you had connected a device, it will show up here as well. And you can choose between the emulator or devices. You can even connect multiple devices or open up multiple emulators. And then you can choose on which emulator or device you want to run your application. Now I am simply running it on the emulator here. So what I'll do is I'll just hit F5. This will start the debug mode. Wow, cool, right? Uh, now the app is running on this emulator device and then I can simply uh, tap on this button to get account here. That's it. It's a simple thing. Forget about all this. Let's do our own thing. Uh, what we'll do is... Uh, okay, this is a bare bones application, right? Uh, let's break it, break this down. 
uh, and first it will get into the main function as usual in any object oriented uh, language and then it will try to run this application. Uh, here I am creating a construct, I mean not a constructor, uh, yeah, I am instantiating the class myapp uh, using the new, key, new keyword and uh, this new myapp is nothing but a stateless widget, myapp extends the stateless widget uh, class. St widgets, how do I say this, everything in flutter application is a widget guys, okay. Everything like a button is a widget, uh, input field is a widget, uh, card is a widget. So uh, whatever thing you throw up on the screen is a widget. So uh, what I'm doing here is I'm basing all my widgets, basing all the screen elements based on the Google's material design. Okay, material design framework that is popular. You might have already, you, you have already seen that a lot in several videos in this channel. Uh, now what I'll do is, what I'm doing is I'm uh, returning a new material app in this my app class. Uh, that uh, new material app is nothing but a, uh, you know, whatever that new material app should contain, I'm defining it in this my homepage class. My homepage class is uh, uh, extends the stateful widget. Uh, a stateful stateless, I'll, uh, you know, We'll look into that at a later point of time, okay, in a later video maybe. This is just a beginner starting entry level video, right? Uh, so uh, I am creating a state here and uh, that state is nothing but an instance of another class that is the my homepage, uh, my homepage state class. Inside that my, my homepage state class, I am simply retaining a scaffold. A scaffold is something uh, that's, wait, I'll show you. See this, wait, uh, I hit in hard reload since we removed a lot of code. Okay, uh, this is exactly what our app does now. We have simply created a scaffold and there is nothing inside this, right? Now watch what happens. Uh, uh, hot reloading is a feature, it's a cool feature for development, guys. Uh, whatever change you do here, you just save it and it'll automatically start reflecting here. Now let's uh, add some code inside this and see what happens. Just watch. Uh, uh, for now, it's just a blank application. We have nothing in there, it's just like a white screen that's being thrown up here. Let's add some cool stuff to this. The first thing we'll add is a title bar, a navigation bar. So I'll do app bar, new app, uh, app bar. And inside this I'll add a title. Title will be text, new text. Uh, my first app, we'll just save this. Watch what happens. See, it automatically got uh, changed, right? This is called hot reload and it's a cool feature that's available with this Flutter uh, beta. It came in at beta two, I think, I, I am not sure. Anyway, uh, it'll hot reload automatically all the changes which makes developing and debugging much easier, guys. We have a title bar here uh, and it'll it has a title, right? But if you're using an iOS simulator, the process, the code is exactly the same but the title you will see it in the center, that's it. To do the same in Android, just get in here and then instead of uh, new text, my first app, we'll just remove this, give new center and inside that, give child, uh, this child will be new text. Cool, right? Now it automatically hot reloaded and moved the title to the center. You see how simple it is. Uh, we'll move on. We'll also see how to add some stuff here as well. So what I'll do is, this is the app bar, right? I'll add a body and uh, this body will contain another new center. Child new text hello world. Okay, add a comma here. It automatically hot reloaded and uh, the text hello world appears here, right? Cool. Now you understand what I'm, where, where we are going with this, right? We simply had an application and this return new scaffold will return a, uh, return out our application, which in turn will be created as stateful widgets are something that maintains state guys. Okay. So what you can do is this, uh, state, state can change 
during the duration of the application as long as the application is running the state can change at any point of time whereas stateless widgets are uh, like uh, immutable they that's it that they are final they, the state can't be changed they maintain no state okay uh, whereas stateful widgets maintain state and uh, what we are doing is you are creating an application returning it here which is in turn being used in our uh, my app class which is the main class uh, which is the class that is being run as our main application so whatever change you are making here will get reflected in the application right now uh, we will see some more cool stuff this is our first this is a beginner video right this is a first uh, starting demonstration so i am not going to go in depth on this we will see some more cool stuff and then we will wrap it up and we will see more uh, advanced stuff in our uh, forthcoming videos uh, what we will do is we will change the style maybe uh, style new text style font uh, size 20.0 everything is a float here guys so 20.0 uh, color color colors dot red okay cool right now if you look at it wow head got increased it will increase it even more so that the change is really thrown at our face see the text is now bigger and uh, it appears in a color right now you might uh, what else should i show as a, this is how this is the basic way in which uh, app is created here guys in flutter you could obviously create more and more beautiful uis you could uh, do a lot of alignment stuff you could bring in cards you could bring in animations the animations are really cool with respect to flutter guys obviously it's an entirely a native application guys so the performance level is also too good when compared with the uh, hybrid hybrid I, I wouldn't compare these two since both have disadvantages and advantages but obviously native applications uh, have a slightly uh, more edge while regarding uh, when it comes to mobile application development than any other hybrid framework uh, so yeah what else should i show so basic application guys uh, this is how you should I show like an icon button? That will be really cool, right? I don't know. I'll do it in the next video. Uh, I'll show how to bring in external assets. That's a good thing, right? Uh, and then we'll wrap this video up. So what I'll do is I'll create another folder here. Uh, name that folder assets. Okay. And uh, I'll bring in a font maybe. Uh, Pubspec.yaml file. Okay. And here there will be something called fonts. See, you see here, right? Just uh, uncomment this. get back into main dot dart and then simply now we can make use of that font here obviously you won't see this uh, since we need to stop this and then reload it again See, the font changed, right? You can see this, right? This was our original font. And this is our new font that we added externally in our assets directory. You can see a uh, change, right? So yeah, this is how you bring in, you can bring in external images as well, place the images inside the assets directory and then you can use that in your code. Anyway, uh, you can do a lot of new stuff, guys. This is just a beginner video. Uh, this is just an introduction video. That's it. Uh, so yeah, we'll see more and more cool concepts. We'll see how to do complete applications. Uh, we'll see how to do simple applications first uh, in using the Flutter uh, framework. So yeah, subscribe guys. Uh, if you hit like, uh, if you like this video, share this video with someone. If you found this helpful, subscribe uh, to watch more cool stuff on this as well. Subscribe if you want to watch Angular or Ionic stuff as well. Uh, yeah, talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.